hey y'all and welcome back to another video all right y'all so i told y'all i'll be back now i don't have as many videos because currently i am on maternity leave i tried to do some more videos but baby seven said that's my baby's name y'all i'm having a boy baby seven said mm -mm, mama it's time for you to take our work <laughs> but yeah so as you saw her hair was a little dry and also uh she hasn't had a soup press in a while too so it's been a long time and um so i made sure she didn't get a treatment i wish she would have got a deep conditioning treatment but uh what i did was i wanted to talk about this y'all hot oil treatments we've gotten away from that and i know people scared to use oil y'all i ain't scared to use no oil it's all in how you use your oil like a lot of people said uh stray away from the oils no you need to add oils to your regimen like we used to have when we used to have relaxers like um when we had relaxed hair our hair was straight all the time right so what shielded our strands from dry and brittleness and the elements was the oil because oil is a sealant so it's basically the shield for your hair strands now i do agree with as far as putting too much oil on your scalp now that's another story now as far as your scalp yeah you got to be careful with smothering your scalp because yes that can affect your growth and it can affect uh, the balance of your skin your scalp but as far as your hair strands yes we need to be applying more oil because, y'all, I do silk presses a lot. And what I've come to, to notice is that all makes a difference. And I have proof. I, I did a little test on, like, two clients. I told them, I said, hey, the first time they came to me, they had it had the split look. Like, the ends of the, the strands are very split looking. And I told them, I said, hey, uh in between time once you leave here add hot oil treatments to your regimen and y'all when you do a hot oil treatment you can do it before the silk press and i mean you can do it before you start your shampoo and blow dry and all that process of getting ready to do a shampoo uh silk press so you don't have to do the hot oil treatment during your silk press just to make sure you're not cooking your hair but you can do a hot oil treatment at least before you do your um your your shampoo so kind of like a pre a pre poo treatment so or you can do a hot oil treatment once a month you can add that to your monthly maintenance like if you want to do your deep treatments your protein treatment and your hot oil treatment you can do all that in that one month span in it that once a month span so when they did that y'all i promise you i saw a big difference because i'm telling you sometimes it is a case of we see the splits going up the strand sometimes it is like okay the hair has been damaged or the hair needs trimming but i had a client i promise y'all the girl just had a trim and it looked good but her ends looked it had the illusion of it looking brittle and split and when she went and did those treatments that I told her to do, add all to her treatment, to her regimen, her hair laid so beautifully. It smoothed down, like it laid so beautifully. So if y'all want me to talk, get more into how to all treatments and understand, let me know. But y'all, I feel like, and I've been an advocate of this lately, been really telling a lot of people lately, add hot oil treatments to your regimen so those hairs can lay down <laughs> so yeah, as y'all can see usually before i blow dry before i straighten the hair sometimes i add like a light oil but because of me noticing when she when she did the blow dry when i when i did the blow dry i noticed that okay I, i'm gonna have to work when i do this straightener i'm gonna struggle with frizz so what I usually do is I go in with a little heavier oil so it can lay them hairs down. So, like, that's a little tip, y'all. 
if uh the blow dry service when you blow dry the hair it tells you a lot before you straighten the hair the blow dryer will tell you a lot before you straighten the hair because if you don't have a good blow dryer if that blow dryer look like it's not laying them hair as good or you fighting with that blow dryer it's telling you like hey when you straighten this hair it's gonna kind of look it's gonna kind of give you that same work so yes i add a little extra oil in there and uh usually if it's still kind of struggling with frizz or with um like with those split bad split damage ends or like dry strands i'll add holding spray with it when i'm styling because holding spray helps to really mold that hair down so hopefully this helps and i will um talk about that a little more in the next video so um also when you are dealing with this type of hair make sure at the ends you are taking your time going down that strand with that flat iron because it's gonna look frizzy at the end if you haven't already make sure to like this video and shoot a comment so it can push my analytics because it's kind of sucky that way youtube is going with these analytics it's not pushing my videos like it usually do so i have subscribers and they don't see the videos i've even recently had another comment saying that hey uh when are you gonna do longer videos and i had to tell them like hey i just posted one a couple days ago so it's like yeah they not push me so if y'all can show more activity in the videos uh by liking and even sharing if you can uh come in so it can push my analytics y'all i hope y'all have a good day and Enjoy the rest of the video. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't know how this gonna end. Oh no. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't wanna be just friends.
running now With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back Yeah I'm in love with you in every way That joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming I'm slipping away I hear your sweet voice Then I see your face I never knew you could love someone like me You climb my tower And you set me free Everything you want 